여전히 나 부족한데도 주님은 여전히 그곳에 계시네 Today's Bible scripture is Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. So let us read it together. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Amen. When we worshipped at church before coronavirus spread out, we learned about that God's promise to Abraham. Isaac, and Jacob. So what was that? God promised to them they will have as many descendants as the stars in the sky. To keep his promise, God made ten Jacob's sons sold Joseph to Egypt. He became a slave, but God led him to be a prime ministry of Egypt. Because of that, Jacob's family could be saved from seven years of famine. After Joseph died, his family stayed in Egypt and had grown so big. So a new pharaoh was afraid of Israelites because he worried that they became the enemies of Egypt and fought against him. So Pharaoh tried to make the Israelites be weak. He made 
them slaves and gave them very hard work. But Israelites kept growing. So Pharaoh ordered to kill all the baby boys and made Israelites work hard more. They made God angry, so he began to rescue his people, Israelites from Egypt. Do you remember who God chose to rescue Israel people from Egypt? Right. God chose Moses. God made Moses ask new Pharaoh to let Israel people leave Egypt. But new Pharaoh did not allow that. So God gave 10 punishments to Egypt. And then new Pharaoh allowed Israel people leave Egypt finally. That's all we learned until now. So today, let us learn about what happened next. After Moses and Israelites escaped from Egypt, they got big problems soon. That was the Red Sea. There was no way to go. Because the Red Sea was in front of them, and the army of Egypt were behind of them. All Pharaoh's horses and his army came close to Israelites. Israel people were afraid and said, We are going to die. We should have never left Egypt. They were so bad, right? They just saw how God protected them from the Passover. So what, what is the Passover? That was the last plague. God killed all firstborn men in Egypt to save the firstborn, firstborn men of Israel. God gave instructions. God said, put the blood of lamb or goat on their doorposts. It would be a special mark for Israel people. Israel people should remember how God protected them at that moment. But they began to complain. So children, do you believe that God really loves you and really wants to protect you? If you do that, please stop complaining to God. Wait with a little more patience. Then he will work for you. Moses said, do not be afraid. God brought you here and he will fight for you. At the time, God said to Moses, lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it that the people of Israel may go through the sea on dry ground. Israelites could cross the Red Sea on dry ground. There were words of water on their both sides. God could do everything for his people. We need just one thing. That is the true faith that God loves us and would help us. However, the army of Egypt kept following Israelites. After all Israelites crossed the Red Sea completely, God said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may come back upon the horses and the army of Egypt. As soon as the Israelites were safely on the other side of the sea, Moses stretched out his hand again, and the waters returned, covering the Egyptians and killing all of Pharaoh's army. None of them survived. When the Israelites saw what had happened, they feared God and believed that he had sent Moses to lead them. Moses and the Israelites sang a song to the Lord. 
The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Children, are you afraid of the coronavirus? We should be careful, so we need to wash our hands and do not go to the place where many people gathered. But we do not need to be afraid because God is our Father, and He loves us, and He would want to protect us like He had done for His right people. So let us keep having true faith in God and praying to God. Then see you next week. Let us pray. Thank you for letting us know about your grace and love. Please let us have true faith that you always love us and protect us. So let us not be afraid of anything. We would like to know about you more and more. Please teach us while reading the Bible this week. Please let us keep praying for our grandparents, parents, siblings, and friends. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory forever and ever. Amen.